It's a little bit of a slower news day today. And overall, that's not a bad thing. That certainly does have its benefits. For example, we have the opportunity to go over some hypotheticals, some rumors and some ideas that were thrown out there in the media that can't really come to fruition anymore, but are still some very thought-provoking ideas nonetheless. That's what we're doing here today in this video, where we're talking about the Vegas Golden Knights, and we're not talking about Petrangelo in this case here. We're actually talking about a few other players that apparently, according to Elliot Friedman in the most recent 31 Thoughts article, the Knights were actually very interested in. So, take a look at this. This is the brand new 31 Thoughts. It was published earlier today on October 14th, 10.45 a.m., by Elliot Friedman himself, of course, it's always Elliot Friedman, isn't it? He had a very interesting thought. If you scroll down and go over here to thought number six, we're talking today about the Vegas Golden Knights and Taylor Hall and Steven Stamkos. Yeah, that's right. Let's read this one here together. If there are any temporary bubbles, hopefully Colorado and Vegas are lumped together. What an arms race, and we deserve this entertainment. Here's what we know so far. Vegas signed Petrangelo to the biggest contract of the 2020 free agent extravaganza. Here is what we're hearing. The Golden Knights, aggressive from their owner on down, tried to do even more, considering Hall and a Steven Stamkos trade. Now, the next parts of these thoughts, he goes over Steven Stamkos. It's the same idea that we spoke about in yesterday's video. If you missed that, we made a video yesterday from Elliot Friedman's comments where he said that he believes the Tampa Bay Lightning might have already asked Steven Stamkos to waive his no-move clause with the purpose of trading him away to free up cap space. And that was a crazy video, crazy idea. Stamkos, obviously a superstar in this league. If you have missed that video, check out that video. It will be somewhere, probably in the related videos. But this is the first actual idea that we have had, where Steven Stamkos is defined not as the player who his team is trying to move, but as the player that another team actually wants. We'll get to Hall in a moment, but I do believe that Stamkos, yeah, 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 it's the same stuff we talked about in yesterday's video. For Vegas, creating the cap room for Petrangelo was hard enough. Creating even more is a multiple Tylenol headache. As GM Kelly McCrimmon indicated, you chase difference makers when they become available, because so rarely does it happen in the NHL. Then they talk about how they were fortunate to add Petrangelo, etc. But, of course, let's circle back to our original video topic. Taylor Hall and Stamkos. First off, Taylor Hall was a guy that a lot of people didn't really think the Golden Knights would be involved in at all. For Petrangelo, it kind of made sense. You wanted a big right-handed defenseman to come over onto your squad. He's a guy who was rumored for weeks to having the slightest form of interest in the Vegas Golden Knights, and that was pushed even further by the trip that he did. He went out to check out Vegas as a city, etc., and all that stuff. So by the time he actually arrived and he was doing his thing, touring around Las Vegas, everybody's kind of like, okay, he's probably going to sign there. As for Taylor Hall, though, that is a completely separate idea. Nobody really thought that Hall would be a Vegas Golden Knight at all. Everybody was talking about the same team. It's Colorado, it's Columbus, who freed up cap space, and it's the Boston Bruins. All of a sudden, though, we know what happened. It was the big, bad, old Buffalo Sabres who came in and swooped that guy down. But the big one here is indeed the Steven Stamkos. And again, though, we did speak about why the Lightning would want to trade Stamkos hypothetically. But if it's Vegas, though, oh my goodness. Imagine if this Vegas team found the capabilities of freeing up cap space in order to get a Steven Stamkos onto their squad. How dumb would that be? It's like, okay, let's just get everybody who is good in this league to go over to Vegas. And sure, the long-term planning doesn't really seem to be there, but if your owner is pushing for you to go ahead and get these big-name guys after getting the biggest-name defenseman, then that's absolutely incredible. So, the gameplay is almost coming to an end here. Talk to me in the comments what you think about the Vegas Golden Knights being interested in Taylor Hall and Alex Petrangelo. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, bye. <laughs>